As the year 2021 comes to a close, we've been fortunate enough to see a lot of growth up to this point in the stock market. What's also great is that many companies this year have been able to continue to grow their dividend distributions to shareholders, and many dividend stocks have seen a lot of price appreciation in their share price as well. This is obviously great news for us who specifically like to invest in these cash flow producing investments. So in today's video, we're going to highlight and take a look at a few companies that not only offer high dividend yields, but also have experienced a good amount of growth over the year and actually over a long period of time. Not just growth in terms of share price, but also growth in terms of consistently increasing their dividends on a regular basis. All of these stocks currently offer dividend yields of at least 4%, and while most of them pay quarterly, one does pay monthly. In this video, we're going to specifically examine the growth that these companies have been able to experience, and while there's certainly no guarantee that any of these stocks or companies will continue to do well in the future, I always like to examine dividend-paying companies that have been doing well to see if they might have some more additional room to grow in the future. And on top of that, I won't even go over realty income in this video, since I know a lot of my viewers are probably expecting them to be here. As of the making of this video though, Realty Income's dividend yield is now below 4%, which I consider to be the absolute minimum to be considered a high yielding dividend stock. But in all seriousness, they're still my favorite read of all time. But anyways, with that being said, let's get started. The first company we're going to be taking a look at today is WP Carry, ticker symbol WPC. This is a real estate investment trust that's one of the largest diversified net lease REITs, specializing in the acquisition of operationally critical, single-tenant properties in North America and Europe. For nearly five decades, the company has invested in high-quality single-tenant industrial, warehouse, retail, and self-storage properties subject to long-term net leases with built-in rent escalators. Currently offering a dividend yield of 5.43%, WPC pays shareholders a quarterly dividend of a little over $1.05 per share. They've also continued to increase their yearly dividend distribution amount every single year since 1998. In fact, they've increased their dividend every single quarter since 2010 according to their website. Should WP Carry keep up their strong performance, they should be one of the next stocks to be considered a dividend aristocrat, which is a stock that's continued to increase their dividend amount for a minimum of 25 consecutive years. According to their website, WP Carry currently boasts some pretty impressive numbers. They currently have 1,266 net lease properties in their portfolio, and they have a 98% occupancy rate, which is really good. 99% of their leases have rent escalations, which is good as well. This means that as the years go on in a lease agreement, that the tenant will pay WP Carry more money. Another really important metric with REITs is the weighted average lease term. You obviously want to lock in a customer for as many years as you can because that makes income more predictable. For WPC, their weighted average lease term is 10.8 years, which is better than a lot of other REITs out there that I've seen. And this has to do with the types of properties that this company likes to pursue, which they refer to as operationally critical. These are properties that are considered more important than, say, a fast food restaurant. So for example, WP Carry is invested in approximately 70 government office buildings in Spain. They've also invested in schools and self-storage spaces. These are the kinds of properties that tend to do well during all market conditions. They do own hotels and leisurely properties, but they make up a very small percentage of their entire portfolio. Looking at their share price, WPC has also continued to progress upward as time moves on. They haven't quite fully recovered to their pre-pandemic price back in March of 2020, but they're slowly moving back up there. Their stock is currently up over 95% from 10 years ago. They've continued to be one of my favorite all-time REITs out there, and they continue to do really well as time moves forward. Up next, we have Store Capital, ticker symbol STOR. This is an internally managed net lease REIT that's the leader in the acquisition, investment, and management of single-tenant operational real estate. Store Capital is one of the largest and fastest growing net lease REITs and owns a large, well-diversified portfolio that consists of investments in more than 2,700 properties located across the United States. They're also one of the newer REITs out there, being founded back in 2014. Right now, Store Capital currently offers investors a 4.5% dividend yield and it pays shareholders a quarterly dividend of 38.5 cents per share. Since being founded, Store Capital has never cut its dividend and in fact they've been able to increase their dividend every year since being founded. This is also the only REIT that Warren Buffett holds in his portfolio, but it only makes up about 0.3% of his total portfolio. By the way, it's estimated that Warren Buffett will collect approximately $3.8 billion this year in dividends alone, which is insane, right? But anyway, Store Capital touts some pretty impressive metrics in their latest investor presentation. 
They own a diversified portfolio of approximately 2,738 properties located in 49 U.S. states, and they claim to have an occupancy rating of 99.6%, which is I think the best out of any read I've ever come across. I checked the footnotes of this metric, and according to Store, they consider properties that are unoccupied, but are still receiving rent money as occupied. What's also really impressive is their weighted average lease term, which is 14 years. This is again one of the best I've ever seen, and remember, WP carries is only 10.8 years. Store Capital owns properties across a lot of different sectors, but I was kind of surprised by some of what's in their portfolio, and just how smart they seem to be in adjusting it. Just by taking a quick glance, I think it's really smart that they own a lot of automobile repair shops, pet care, lumber and construction wholesalers, and behavioral health properties because these kinds of things you can't exactly get online. Like for example, you can't get your dog groomed or get dental work done over the internet. They definitely seem to be targeting properties that are more internet resistant. What I also think is smart is that they do own a lot of restaurants, but as you can see they've been decreasing the total amount of these in their total portfolio over the last three years. Full service used to make up 10.3%, but now it's only 7.4%. They've also been decreasing their movie theaters and family entertainment properties. These are all business sectors that are significantly more impacted by bad economic conditions and the pandemic. Since being publicly listed in 2014, Store Capital has seen some pretty good positive growth. While they haven't been around long enough to check their 10-year performance, this stock is currently up over 21% over the last 5 years, which I know isn't as great as others, but the pandemic obviously played a pretty big role in that. I'm personally a pretty big fan of their investment portfolio, and given how well this newer read has been growing their dividends, things definitely seem to be going in the right direction for this company. If you're enjoying the video so far and are getting anything out of it, I'd really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more high yielding dividend investing videos, which is what Dividend Bull revolves around. Thank you all so much for your consideration, support, and for watching this far. Up next we have Main Street Capital, ticker symbol MAIN. This is a BDC or a business development company that specializes in supplying equity capital to lower middle market companies. The firm also provides debt capital to middle market companies for acquisitions, management buyouts, growth financing, recapitalizations, and refinancing. The firm seeks to partner with entrepreneurs, business owners, and management teams, and generally provides one-stop financial alternatives within its lower middle market portfolio. This company really does stand out among other BDCs out there. First of all, they have one of the best track records in terms of growing their dividends over a long period of time. Most BDCs out there that I really like, such as Aries Capital, very rarely increase their dividends, whereas Main Street has continued to increase their dividends on a regular basis. It's not every year they increase it, but it's pretty close, and for a BDC, that's very rare. Right now, Main offers a dividend yield of 5.74%, and it does pay dividends monthly, which is always appreciated. It pays a monthly dividend of $0.21 cents per share as of the making of this video. Just like Store Capital, Main Street Capital has never cut their dividend, even during the pandemic or the 2008 financial crisis, which is another really impressive feat for a business development company. Because BDCs invest in other companies, it's important to make sure that their portfolio is well diversified, which is the case for Main Street. As you can see, the largest industry only makes up 7% of their total investment portfolio. They invest in companies across many different sectors, including aerospace, financial services, life sciences, IT services, and the list goes on and on. In terms of their share price performance, this stock is up over 34% from 5 years ago, and it's up an impressive 181% from 10 years ago. Because of these reasons, Main Street remains a big favorite among high dividend investors, and I know a lot of my viewers as well. This level of growth among with monthly dividends is super impressive that to my knowledge no other BDC comes close to. I know it doesn't yield as much as other BDCs, but again in terms of growth this stock has been pretty impressive. The next high yielding stock that's been experiencing really good growth is Iron Mountain, ticker symbol IRM. Iron Mountain is the global leader for storage and information management services. Trusted by nearly a quarter of a million organizations around the world and with over 1,400 facilities in approximately 50 countries, Iron Mountain stores and protects billions of valued assets including critical business information, highly sensitive data, and cultural and historical artifacts. In the last couple years, Iron Mountain has been going through a pretty serious change in their business. As you can see from their share price performance, it was trending downward between 2017 until late 2020. And I think the biggest driver for that was that Iron Mountain historically has been known as a company that stores physical documents, as in paper, as well as other types of physical assets. 
but Iron Mountain knows that while we'll always need to store some things, including historical items in physical form, we're transitioning to a more digital environment. Within the last couple years, Iron Mountain has been expanding their online data storage services, and so far things appear to be really working out for them. One of the biggest advantages they have over their data storage competitors is that so many Fortune 1000 companies rely on them for storing physical documents already, so it makes sense that as these companies need more storage for digital files that they would just go with a company that they've been doing business with for years already. I remember several years ago reading articles about whether or not Iron Mountain could successfully make this transition, and given by their recent performance and boom in their share price, it appears everything continues to be going well for them and investors are sticking behind them. Their stock currently offers a 5.35% dividend yield and it pays a quarterly dividend of about 62 cents a share. Iron Mountain did have an 8 year track record of increasing their dividends year over year, but in 2020 they didn't increase it. They didn't slash it, which is good, but they haven't increased it since fourth quarter of 2019. Looking at their latest investor presentation, you can get an idea of just the magnitude of this company. 95% of Fortune 1000 companies are customers of Iron Mountain across dozens of industries. Globally, they have over 1,400 facilities, servicing roughly 225,000 different businesses and organizations. In terms of their data centers, they've continued to experience growth in this area. Right now they claim to have over 1,300 organizations using their data centers and have 15 operational centers in three continents. I think there's definitely a lot of potential for Iron Mountain as they continue to transition and expand into the data centers going forward. Alright everyone, that's going to wrap up today's video. Thank you all so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If this video benefited you in any sort of way, please click the like button below and click subscribe if you want to see more dividend investing strategy videos. It would just let me know that there's a sizable enough audience out there who wants this kind of content and I'll continue to provide you all with that content. Alright everyone, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you next time. Take care.